Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. Um, little bit more of a serious one, so I just want to get right into it. Um, basically, I actually don't know where to begin. Um, there is a commentary YouTuber, uh, you see right here, called I'm Alex. Um, like a UK YouTuber and makes, you know, like drama, commentary, exposed videos. Like all these videos are like exposing this, exposing that. Um, basically exposing bad people, right? Um, and has been on the platform for quite some time. This is the oldest video here, like eight years. Eight years, um, I'm Alex has been making, ranking the worst apologies, exposing people, um, basically exposing problematic behavior ranging from um, things to do with, you know, inappropriate behavior to racism to so many different, so many different wide topics, right? Um, and has been doing this for a very, very, very long time and is one of the the more prominent ones um, in the space. And, okay, so I'm Alex's ex-girlfriend, um, has spoken out. Um, her name is Alice and she said, this is her right here. And she said, here's my statement on the situation. I've been scared to speak up on. Um, it's best. It was made public. How horrible of a person, um, this person is who has a platform and I'd hate to see another woman go through this. Please read the statement before continuing. So there is so much to go through. Like there, there are so many videos, um, there are so many videos that we're going to get to, and they are very, very, very disturbing, very disturbing um, of this creator. Um, but first, I want to read the statement. So Alice, the ex-girlfriend, did like a Google Drive of everything, um, ranging from audio clips to videos to just like scrolling through text messages, like the, the worst things you could see. So I want to read the statement first. And by the way, this statement page we're just gonna read this statement and go through the videos and kind of come back to this but there is as you can see so much here so 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 much here i'm actually going to be uh pinning down below the google drive so you can go over by the way so many people are opening the videos so some of them might not load but you can we'll go through them um i just first and foremost want to say as well that i have not had any like public interactions i don't think with i'm alex um but we have followed each other on social media and people have been asking me where i stand on this um i'm gonna be honest when this story dropped last night i was at a party with my friends um and it felt inappropriate to say anything on it then um i was never and have never been friends with i'm alex um we just have had a couple mutual friends here and there um and we were mutuals on twitter um, however, obviously, whenever I've figured everything out, I've cut that off. But again, there was no relationship there to start with. Um, and I want to make that very clear. Um, but even if there was, like, if there was a relationship there, like, I just want to make it known that I fully stand with Alice in this. And I think as many people to talk about this is very important. And it's very scary what she has gone through. And there is something really, really, really just something so disturbing about a creator a person in general doing all this but there's something really disturbing about a creator who their entire brand is exposing bad behavior and all the rest and they are like the most evil person ever like the most evil person ever so let's read the statement uh, trigger warning mentions of sa side depression and assault this is a sensitive subject for me as I've struggled to figure out how to put it into words. I have been threatened by Alex to not come out with anything at all and to keep quiet, or he will create a, con uh, a contradicting story to discredit me, um, but I'm not scared anymore. No matter what is said in response to this statement, I know I've said my piece and I can move on with my life. I made this document as a compilation of my experiences whilst being with Alex and have put screenshots of these accounts under the corresponding paragraphs. Uh, this will be a long one, um, as I want to start from the beginning so you can understand the story fully and the heavy burden that this has been on me. We've known of each other for years before we interacted, and we're seeing each other for a few months before anything was really official. We started officially dating on March 17th, 2023, giving each other 100% of our attention, uh, time and effort with no arguments. After that, time passed and small things became huge issues, which were over Discord at first. 
Alex felt that because I'm home all day and work from home that I would be able to call with him 24 seven and completely shut out any of my social interactions that I have in the real world with friends. To avoid that, I invited him into my grips and stopped working as much. These small arguments worsened to the point where he would turn on his camera and just shout at me on a call. He's gone as far as to tell me that he would self-harm at this point after I told him my history. This would be accompanied with multiple horrible messages calling me a whore, a bitch, and slimy. He would also tell me that I caused arguments as an excuse for me to leave him, saying, I don't know how I ended up with someone like you. Okay. So... I'm going to get to these text messages after. So the Google Drive is here. Just huge trigger warning, everyone, by the way. Huge trigger warning. So these were the videos that were included. Okay. So we have this first one. So basically this is Alice was saying that they had a lot of their interactions over Discord. So I'm just going to play this first one. I actually forget the order that these have been posted in. And I've only also seen one of these clips um, because this is very heavy that I don't necessarily want to have to watch these multiple times. So when I figured out how bad it was, I said that we'll just, you know. Sorry first. So I'm a fucking sorry first. So I'm a fucking whore mouth bitch retard cunt. Is it generally because you're just fucking brain dead? Yeah, I'm very brain dead. Yeah. Is that why you decided to go on the fucking offensive instead of the, the uh, maybe? Offensive. Okay. I don't, know, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Just do the normal route, which is... Just do the normal route, but a normal girlfriend... You're acting like oh, this I didn't, is I didn't all just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You, Because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you, you fucked this. Royally oh, fucked this. Sorry first. So I'm a fucking... Okay. Also, sorry, I, like, actually, I've, like, this is so fucking disturbing. There is something so crazy deranged about doing all this in general, but I'm Alex is sitting at his YouTube setup that he makes videos calling out other people while he is threatening abuse to his girlfriend. This is his YouTube setup, by the way. Right, but a normal girlfriend. Yeah, acting doing, like I this is I didn't, I didn't all just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You, because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you, you fucked this royally. Okay. Fuck this. Sorry, fuck. Okay, so that is the first video. Now let's get to this second one. That first one was actually just one of the only ones that I'd seen, and it was bad enough that I knew that. Um, this is worth talking and highlighting this story. Thing about you, and this is the thing, and this is why I fucking go round and round in circles. I join cool, and when I'm getting, you're talking to me, going, this is the thing, even though, now, now, when it's too fucking late, you admit that you did everything fucking wrong, but when it actually matters, when you should lay down, like a good fucking dog, you don't fucking do it, you fight, for some reason, I don't know why you fight, because you're losing, because you end up admitting that you fucked it all up anyway. So it's just fucking weird. And I know that you're going to end up admitting that you fucked it all up. Which is why it's even thing about you. And this is the thing. And this is why I fucking go round and round in circles. I join cool. And when I'm getting... You're talking to me. Going... This is the thing. Even though... Now... Now... When it's too fucking late, you admit that you did everything fucking wrong. But when it actually matters... When you should lay down... Like a good fucking dog. You don't fucking do it. You fight for some reason. I don't know why you fight, because you're losing, because you end up admitting that you fucked it all up anyway, so it's just fucking weird, and I know that you're going to end up admitting that you fucked it all up, which is why it's even thing about Okay, and then we have another one right here. Like, massive issues there. Oh and you God. think you can you think you think can just fucking ignore them, because like, well, what's the worst that can happen? Um, I don't know, uh, your boyfriend's a fucking famous internet celebrity, and... Mmm... What we are seeing here is is actual pure narcissism, narcissism, and this is an abusive narcissistic person. That's what this is. During an argument, I'm Alex, who, by the way, is a commentary YouTuber. Like you, camera, not the time. Back down here.
you're a YouTuber, number one. Girl. But you're also a commentary YouTuber. You are not all that. You are not all that. You're not all that. During an argument with your girlfriend, you're basically saying that she is so lucky that she's with, what was that again? An internet celebrity? Oh yeah, because I'm Alex, by the way, sells merchandise that says internet sensation on it. Now we know that that's not even just a bit. He is actually that fucking narcissistic. And I've learned, by the way, not to throw those words around because I have gotten in trouble in the past for saying narcissism, narcissistic, you know, like diagnosing people. There is no other way to look at this. I'm Alex is a narcissistic abuser. We have, we have footage of him speaking to his girlfriend, speaking to women like this and say literally threatening violence under the gauge of you're so lucky that you can be with me because he's a what? He's a what again? Um, I don't know. Uh, your boyfriend's a fucking famous internet celebrity. and Right. Right. He doesn't trust these people because he has to keep his circle small. Because you might not have anything to fucking lose because your life might be down the fucking drain. But I still have quite a lot that I would like to fucking give. Uh, you're making it incredibly fucking hard for me. Just like Lewis did. Yeah. I fucking hate all of you. You guys are fucking like, like, I can't make any videos of Paul Breach. Like, massive issues there. Oh and you God. think you can, you think what judging mental is. I think I may have said like a hundred times to the point where it's actually really hard to follow what I'm saying because it's so flexible. I've mm -hmm. gone, you could do this, but you might be able to do that, but you might be able to do that, and you might be able to do this, and this might work, but you might be able to do that. And it's all, it sounds fucking mental. I, I don't even understand how you could possibly actually follow along to it. I mean, like most of my friends struggle to actually understand what I'm saying. Um, but that's why I'm a professional and you are all not. Um, because and then when you go, I don't like this. It's annoying. What judging mentor is? I think I'm. Th that's why he's a professional, and you're all not. May have said like a hundred times to the point where it's actually really hard to follow what I'm saying because it's so flexible. I've mm -hmm. gone. You could do this, but you might be able to do that. But you might be able to do that. And you might be able to do this, and this might work. But you might be able to do that. And it's all. It sounds fucking mental. I, I don't even understand how you could possibly actually follow along to it. I mean, like most of my friends struggle to actually understand what I'm saying. Um, but that's why I'm a professional and you're all not. Um, because and I Ge Genuinely no comment. Genuinely no comment on that one. I feel like there's actually very little to say on that one. I, I think that one speaks for it itself. I think all of these do, but dear Lord. Okay, um, okay, we have these videos. Over what? I have not seen these ones yet. Over what? I don't understand. <laughs> Be stuck up over, but for some reason, it's like, is it good enough for you? You get to do whatever you fucking want all day. It's like, and then you look like a fucking miserable fucking little cunt all the time. Like, your face is annoying to look at, like, when I come downstairs. Like, I'm actually fed up of looking at you, which is why I sleep downstairs, because I don't want to have the cunt upstairs. Oh, you're taking all the covers? It's like, fucking woman, just, like, fucking ask me to buy another one, or stop fucking complaining. Like, nothing, the thing is, it annoys me, it's nothing needs to be an argument, because everything is fixable. Buy a new duvet, I sleep downstairs. But no, you've always got to act like none of this stuff, can, because you don't actually try and fix any of your fucking problems. Like, it's fucking, it's infuriating at this point. Like, earlier, you're miserable, man. All you have to do is take what it is and it's fixed. It's fine. You don't feel like you don't clean up after yourself. Nigga, neither do you. So, don't even. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So, there we have. I'm Alex, who. Just casually saying the N-word. Casually. In an argument. Like, th th there's... There's actually no words. Like... He is just... Evil. Right, earlier, you're miserable, man. All you have to do is say what it is, it's fixed. It's fine. You don't feel like you don't clean up after yourself. Nigga, neither do you. So, what do you think? It's fine. I'm so worried about it. I don't have to go around fucking just trying to make anything that you don't clean up after. Why? Because you don't block that in your fucking little school brain.
so many. It, it, God, I'm just fucking goosebumps listening to her video. So many issues with that. So we have many examples of him hiding behind the gauge of you're with someone famous, please. And now we have him going, well, you don't pay for any of this anyway, so you don't, you shouldn't have a fucking voice. This is the thing, even right now, you just ignore all of that. I'm giving you options for everything, you just ignore everything. You're not actually trying to sort out any of these problems. Have you not got problems with things? Man, why do you fucking call them? Why does it have to be me? You can fucking call people, you can get it sorted, you can take them out if you want to. But no, because Alice doesn't actually fucking do anything. I'm trying to fucking right now, I'm spending pretty much fucking every single day trying to figure out where fucking 75,000 fucking pounds has gone. And whether I'm ever gonna get it. And then any of my future YouTube revenue. Because the company's holding my channel fucking hostage. So yeah, sorry I forget about the, to fucking clean the sign sometimes. I've got bigger fish to fry. And I still have the post. If you want a cleaner, I'll fucking hire one. So. Again, this is all like, and he goes, but I still have to post on YouTube. We really don't give a fuck. We will not miss your Jojo Siwa videos. It's so ironic that all of these videos are about exposing bad people. You I tried to stop this like seven times. Then you could have stopped. It was you. It was all you. I tried to stop it. Go away. I did try to stop it. Go away. Go away. Just go away. He's such a loose fucking cannon that the silence is terrifying me. Like, if you had to do half the shit I had to do, you would understand why stuff half the loads of stuff doesn't get done. If you had to do half the shit I have to do, you. If you had to do half the shit I have to do. What? Reading Colleen Ballinger's fucking book for 17 minutes? Watching Alphabet's TikToks? Oh, God. No one works as hard as you. And you know what? That completely, because you work so fucking hard, you're so fucking right. You get to act all this way to your girlfriend because no one works harder. Fuck off. Go away, just go away. You upload one half video go every away. three weeks. Okay. Go away. Okay, it does terribly. Go away. Um, okay. And then we have 
this. It's another audio. The last bit of the previous one. I wanted to sleep downstairs so I could fucking actually wake up on time. I didn't make you. Yes, she did. No. You were throwing a fucking fit. No, I didn't. Yes, she did. Well, you can stop this right now. Yes, yeah, shut up. You're following me. Going on. Fuck off. And then we have, by the way, I, there is an audio that is 24 minutes long. Uh, this is really heavy. I, uh, I want you to know that I, I'm in full support of her, but like, I, I cannot, I'm so sorry that she has gone through that and high privileged of me to be able to say, oh, like I, I can't sit through that cause she lived it, but I, I genuinely can't listen to 24 minutes of that. Um, oh, we have this, which is basically just like scrolling through the craziest text. Alice, please unblock me. I'm crying so much. This is awful. Can I say goodbye? You mean so much to me. I have to say goodbye. I can't imagine not saying goodbye. I didn't when you left because I thought we'd fix it and now I won't even have a chance. I didn't as a voice memo. Fuck, please, anything. If you could see me, you'd know I'm not fucking you, Ryan. I'm not lying. I'm broken. Alice, please don't let it end like this. I sent you a message on Facebook. You haven't opened it. I don't know if that's intentional, but I don't want to... But I don't want to have to bump you on over social medias. Facebook, hello, can you see this? If please so reply. Unblock me on Facebook and let's talk about yesterday properly. I won't call you or anything. I can send voice memos. That's what you need. I'm trying to make this work. I will compromise if I have to. Please don't make me feel stupid for sending these, Alice, because it really is the last time. I can't do this after today. I never wanted to be the ex who sends loads of text messages, but you left me without a previous conversation. So I just feel so unfinished. I don't know how you can do the no contact thing or why we haven't called. I can't get my head around it at all. You're not going to open these, and I'm tired of waiting around for months. I really tried. These are the last messages I'll send. Or I'll try to put everything out there. I'd rather do this as a voice memo. So I'll send it on Instagram to the Beat account. It's like my only option now. Ah, actually, no. I can't believe I'm fucking doing this. There's nothing I can say or do. I reread our messages. Me asking how you're doing. You didn't care that I was trying. In the last three months have been so weird. I wish you had broken up with me to my face and spoke to me. And it was done clean. I hate reading our messages of me begging for you to acknowledge me and then claim I don't try. It's torture and I need to end it. And now he's crazy. I need to end it now. And I'm hoping you'll open this and go. Let's talk. I need to end it. We can at least be on better terms, but that's not happening. The end. I reread the DMs. So I won't anymore. I thought you wanted me tonight to check Insta DMs. Check Insta DMs, please. These are all multiple different days. Check DMs. Why are you ignoring me? Question mark, question mark. DMs, 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 DMs. D it's a... Uh... Uh, sorry, my phone cut off. It wasn't acceptable behavior. Like in any way, shape or form. It was insane. Like, I I guess I've just been stuck in that cycle for so long that um, I felt like I could do no wrong. I felt like I was the fucking, you know, oh, look at me, I do all this fucking work and 
I do everything and I try and do this and Actually we are gonna listen to a bit of this. We've We are. It's I think it's unfair to not show it. You know, just know I don't know if I can do it all though. And, you know, I know you appreciated it and I know that you appreciated the effort that I used to put in. And uh, then I just stopped because I had you and you're my girlfriend and we live together and the more further we got for our relationship, the uh, less effort I put in. Um, you know, and if it wasn't for you leaving, I might never, ever, ever have changed my ways. I might have just continued on like that. At the end of the day, the only thing that's important is that I didn't listen to you. You were right. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. I was impossible to work with. I didn't make it easy. Um, I constantly thought inwards about myself and not about you and what was going on. Um, this is just like peak narcissism. Peak narcissism. Like having, being like abusive, like, an, hello. This is what he's doing where he's having like narcissistic rages and is being abusive towards her threatening it and verbally and even on text and then when she finally was brave enough to leave it's like oh but i need you back i need you back I didn't make any attempts to change. I didn't make any attempts to fix my life. I made excuses. And um, it got to the point where I wanted to be alone. Because if I was alone, nobody could tell me that I was fucking up and that I was doing anything wrong. And for the first week that you weren't here, I just spent the entire week doing nothing. And after that week, I realized just kind of like how fucked up my life was. And I have made attempts to try and fix it. You know, I have a schedule, I take out the bins, I look after the cats, you know, I, I... Congratulations, I take out the bins and I look after my cats. You know, I'm like a functioning person. I go out for my bike ride. I've been sorting out my doctor's appointment. Even though it's bloody hard in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh my god, we really don't give a fuck. Can I skip in? And the scar is always there. Just because I feel okay about it now doesn't mean that you did. And when I used to say stuff about, like, why can't we just move on? It's because I felt like I, you know, we, you know, I felt like I was comfortable. And uh, I didn't make the effort to see if you were. And if you weren't, because I was, I didn't understand why you couldn't be. Though I don't really know what that is. But I know that it's wrong. And I know that I knew of it. And I, to be honest, I thought that at a certain point, when I was sleeping on the sofa and stuff, I convinced myself that that's what you wanted. You obviously didn't. So I'm not saying you wanted it and I did it. As in, I convinced myself because I was making an excuse for myself. Not as in, I was doing it for you. I don't mean any... If I say anything along those lines, that's not how I mean it. I wasn't doing it for you. I was doing it for me. It was easier to avoid you. I wasn't putting the effort in. Because you obviously had said, like you have on this, like, give me time to come back, talk properly, apologise. I need time to process stuff. And I wasn't doing it. And then I started doing it almost like out of... Sp Sorry, out of spite. Like, I started doing it being like, oh, yeah, well, I'm sleeping on the sofa now. Isn't this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted me to go away? Because I'm such a fuck up. It was like self pitying, self absorbed bullshit. And, um, yeah, it's just a really, like, fucked up thing to do to you at the end of the relationship. So I know why you left, because at that point, there was, like, no love. At least I wasn't showing it anyway. A kiss when you're playing League probably was more annoying than anything because you know I was probably doing it to avoid our problems. Um, okay, 
I don't care to hear any more of what the disgusting pig has to say. It was intentional. I want this to happen. The little bit about gluten was genius. You're a freak because even though you know I called you to buy your fucking correct food, you hung up on me. Talk about grateful. You got a weird way of showing it. Can't get that through to your thick skull. You're a silly... You keep talking over me. I don't like you. I hate you. I've completely fallen out of love with you because you don't try. You are crazy. You're stressing me out. Fuck you. Fuck off. Weird. You're a fucking moron. Have you got a mur? He's basically saying, like, look at yourself. You're single properly. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm out. Ha 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 ha. I don't want to win. I just want you to shut up, frankly. Stupid woman. I don't want you. Go away. I want to be alone. Die. 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 Fuck off then. Die. <sighs> shut your fucking mouth. You need to shut your fucking mouth. I want to break up. I don't love you. Go away, psycho. You're a jobless freak. Imagine trying to teach... And then the R slur, of course. Fuck off. Someone with the expertise I actually have. You're too small-brained. Shut the fuck up. You're a dumb whore. You're thick. You're a shit girlfriend. You're being a... You're the worst, dumb bitch. You have a permanent attitude, never ending. You're a dumb whore with the literacy of a child. Talking to you is like talking to a brick. Maybe don't be a dumb whore. And dumb whore again. Here we have him saying the n-word over text so it seems to be a very common thing he says n-word that's the truth idiot like kill yourself You're careless. <sighs> Basically, this is Alice saying that, you know, he would call her the M word. I've got more important things in your feelings. You're a dumb woman. Just die in a fucking hole, you sad little... You're nothing without me. I'll be fine without you. Fuck our anniversary. Start working and get a job. You thick. He says, I'm going to break your neck. He says, I'm going to fucking kill you. And then after that argument, the same month, uh, this is when things got worse. He said, I'm very sorry about yesterday and I know I crossed a line when I was angry. I don't know if I can read anymore. I really don't know if I can read any more of these. There are so many. I assume these are letters he's written her.
There's so much more I could talk about, but I really don't want to relive it any longer. This was an awful relationship. I should have just laughed two months in knowing and finding the kind of person he is. But that's what happened when when a narcissist meets an empath. They feed off of it. At this point, he's trying to use a situation with the cat to manipulate the story. I had to tell him to stop saying weird things to the cat. He was joking about taking him away. And why would I let someone who told me they'd break my cat's neck near my cat? What? He then goes on to say, I've punched him in the face over the cat. This is Delulu. Oh, my God. There have been so many instances where I ended up taking Bear into the other room, saying that taking the cat off him is starting an argument. He acts like a child had his toy taken away, but I was uncomfortable with him being near my cat after him saying what he would do. For legal reasons, I won't attach all the evidence I have, but in due time, they'll be public. He has tried to get me to stay quiet. Oh my god. It's, like, genuinely terrifying. Obviously, that was heavy. That was a lot. Um, I just, I, I did want to cover it because um, I also think it's important for people that are in the same community as I'm Alex to talk about this. I know he has a lot of friends in this community. A lot of people he makes collabs with, and I think I think every single one of them should speak about this. I think every single one of them should. Um, someone like this is incredibly dangerous. Um, and should not have a platform, but like, that's only that's only the start of what should happen here. Um, well, I just want to let Alice know that I'm in full support of her and yes, I don't really know what else to say. I really don't know what else to say. Um, I did just want to do this to kind of also talk about it and make my sense very clear on where I stand. Um, I'm fully against I'm Alex. I think I think he's a pig. And I'm in full support of Alice. Um and we'll leave the video there. We'll leave the video there. <laughs>